you to it? Um, well, as we've heard, uh, you don't have to rehearse. I have been caught in, uh, in, in, in twisting, yes, uh, with other people without even noticing it. As a matter of fact, we're not very far from it right now, Percy. We're, we're in a state of agitated conversation in which uh, we're getting pretty close to twist. All we have to do is stop talking and use our hands a little more. Uh, but today, in the Balloon's office, we, we weren't. That man, man was, was not tribal, he was litter, he was most litter. He, he was, was a half our relationship. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and that's, that's what he meant by multi-consciousness. So, so here, here's, here's what's about multi-consciousness. But who's the term multi-consciousness in the word form to disguise as a tetra? That's a nice step. Yeah. The, I find it interesting how to be in the cocoon position and to know that no one really could catch up to him. And a hard man like Watson makes a valiant effort, even this point that he came, and he's making a decision that we're cool to do. The only thing is to find all of the stuff to point out that, uh, that, that um, uh, Watson did not succeed in finding something cool to do. Not at all. I, I never had a chance to have a bunch of pictures before, and uh, I don't get any new insights. I've, I've never, never thought, thought of the Tetra as a dance, dance or by a person, person on stage, or, or, or the, the way to show the four positions, the four characters. characters. I mean, he was the director, and, and then he had himself do the four positions, four positions and in the drama on them, to show, show what was happening in the global theater. There was a woman there from the Eastern Orthodox Church, for example, and she was uh, discussing um, how essentially the tactility of the Eastern Orthodox extends from a circular dance, like a, a collective circular dance where people hold hands. And so that's like uh, the base, um, how would you call it, ritual gesture from which. Uh, uh, and the uh, mindset, uh, uh, and not just the connection, she saying, you know, she finds it very well involved in the face with a uh, western dance, and how, for example, we face it, and so it seems the boom brings in, uh, in uh, 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 it's a kind of dance, it's both um, circular and collective, and uh, individual and vertical, and so he presenting, what do you call it, the anamorphic, the rock spiral, Mobius strip of, uh, of multi dimensional dance, the dance in a circle, um, yeah. is uh, suggestive of the kind of uh, tactile interplay that um, like our friend uh, Pseudo Dionysius uh, exhibits, you know, between uh, the cataphatic and uh, the via negativity of theologies and uh, the sort of Greek Orthodox kind of tactility, if you do, as opposed to a, uh, a Western kind of tactility. And I'm just suggesting that the Tetrad is, is kind of a, a dance which uh, sits in a tactile fashion between these two tactilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's true. Right? You, you have to include both, both when you're, you're talking, talking tactility. tactility. Um, the... Okay, okay, so, so the, the question, question, how do you tell the dancer from the dance? Um, that's... That... The, the meaning of that question, the dilemma it poses, is, is always there. there. But, but Watson, Watson is trying to operate, update that, that question with new terms, terms new envelopes, envelopes, new bodies. bodies. They look to be in a trance. How do you uh, parse this? I think any form of activity in which you are totally and deeply involved, including, say, group singing, marching, inevitably imposes a kind of puppet-like state on the uh, participant. 